Uh, I've been here before for the uh, Eurovision pre-party in 2017. Okay, so um, in Belgium, it's a committee that selects, it's not a public audition, so you have to send your song and you will to participate and then they choose with a jury. But in my case, so uh, I was not supposed to do your vision at first. I, I went out of the voice and then I met a guy when I started making music with him. It's Pierre. And then he, ha, we, uh, we play the music to a label, to a music label. And the music label, they played the song City Lights to the Belgian, uh, French uh, radio and television. And there are the people who make the selection for your vision. So they heard the song. Just my label wanted to know if they think it can go on the radios and stuff. And they were like, yeah, it's cool. But we also we think it will be a cool song for your vision. Would you like to put this music in the selection? And so it was a bit a strange way how it happened. And so we said, OK, let's put it in the. But so it was really strange because it went really fast. And so I was um, at school. And uh, I, I knew that the song was sent to the jury, but I didn't know when it was, when were, was the response. I didn't know how many steps there were before you could be selected. And so I just received a message like, uh, we are selected. And for me, it was just, okay, we are selected for a first step. What's, what's the next steps? And actually, I asked my teacher if I can go out of class. And I called him like, okay, what's the next uh, steps? And he says, no, no, it's like, we are selected to go to Eurovision. Now it was really strange. So I needed time to realize and to understand what it represented, what I had to do now. So it was really uh, exciting, but uh, I was super curious. I didn't know anything about how it works. So <laughs> it was strange, but exciting. No, in the contrary, it made me confident to see that uh, people like the song and I, I, of course, didn't want to disappoint people, but I was more like, okay, they like the song, and uh, I think they really like the song and the sound of the, the song and the whole thing, so I trusted that, and, uh, you know, I don't know if you see what I mean. I, 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 they didn't like, like a performance or something like this. They first liked the song, which is the very heart of what we do with like, the song and the music, and so knowing that they like this, made me confident to, to go on, uh, yeah. To stay for the semi-final. <laughs> I don't think I remember a lot because, you know, in the moments where you stress, you, you forget a lot of things that arrive. So I remember the rehearsal, I remember the place was huge. I remember discovering the, the, the room for the first time and seeing how big it is, the organization also, how many steps, uh, the way you, you make the sound check in a small room before the, the stage. It was crazy to realize how big it is. Like I said, I didn't know how it worked because I didn't know what it was. And so every time it was a new discovery and it was crazy. But it's always strange because especially a stage when there is no public, when it's not the real moment, it's, it's so quiet and you have all these seats and it's all empty and it, but it, it, it was really strange because I, I've never been on a so huge uh, stage. And it was also strange that there is the, the floor, it's a screen also. So you have the animation on the floor, it's so it was fun. <laughs> yeah, this was one, it's still one of the uh, craziest moments in my life. Like, I, my heart yeah. never, was never so uh, loud and uh, fast. Because exactly, I was announced last. And I knew that it was, it's been three years. No, I think the last two, two or three years, they always announced Belgium in last position. And for me, it was sure they would not do it one more time. For me, I'm, they're not going to make the same scheme four years in a row. And so I was like, okay, it's not me. I was sure. I was sure, but still my heart was, my heart was racing until the ninth. But then once they announced the ninth and it was not Belgium, I was like, okay, it's over. And so when they say Belgium, I think this one is still one of the craziest moments, this exact moment when they say Belgium. It's a big question because I was really young. I was 17. Now I'm 24. And it's a big gap because when you're 17, you're like, you're really a teenager. And 
I don't regret anything because I just did what I could do at this moment and it was really hard to understand what was going on around me, to be honest, because I was so young. And so I let myself be uh, floating a bit in what was going on. So I, I didn't really have the time to take a step back, look at my staging, look at everything and see, is it me, is it what I want to do? It was so quick. So now that I look back, I know that I, would, I could think differently, my staging and my dress and everything, I could do it differently, but I don't regret it was how it was and I'm happy and I know I'm proud also because I was 17 and I went through this and I think I did it good for all that was around it. But now, of course, it could be fun to imagine how, what else I could have wear, what else could be behind me. And because I, I like to imagine the staging, I, li I like this. So if I would do it again, it could be different, but I don't regret how it was. You know what I mean? Like, so um, if I go back to your vision, my really big wish, I would like to do it with my brother, because my brother is also a singer, it's Oliver Lord, and I know he would like to, to do this, to, to go to Eurovision, and so it would be really cool for me to go with him. And if we do so, I think we'd be in between his universe and mine. So I would like to still keep something, something uh, calm and uh, something melancholic, or uh, something like this, but also a mix in between uh, his style and mine. And there is a song that we have together that I'm thinking, oh, it could be a cool Eurovision song, why not? But I'm not sure if you can go to Eurovision with a song that was already written before. I don't really know the rules. But if I would go, it would be with my brother. So um, a few years after Eurovision, I released an album. Uh, it was now, it was three years ago now. And so it's called Empire. So I, already, I have an album out. Uh, and now, to be honest, I stopped a bit music, like I took a bit of a step back because uh, I wanted to discover more things because I started really young, all the music stuff, and uh, I wanted to discover more. So now I started studying cinema to uh, direct film and write films. And now I'm in uh, my third year, so it's a whole new life for me. But I still have music projects, like for example, now um, I sang for... Um, the theme song of a Flemish movie. So when they were, there is a cool project, a cool collaboration that is possible, I'm always up for it, but I'm not working on my project. I'm not writing songs at the moment, but maybe one day. I mean, there is the song with my brother, but small project like this, yeah. But I think the, the song of uh, Jeremy, I don't know which, which year it was, but Jeremy uh, Machese. What was the name of the song? Uh, uh, but it's, a, it's an amazing song. Like I, 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 was, I sang at the same festival as him like uh, two weeks ago and he sang the song and it's a crazy song and it's, it's so good. I, I don't understand why he didn't, I think he didn't make it to the final, but he's like, he sings so well. The song is, is a fucking good song, like really. And he's such a good performer, so yeah. Wow, it's, it's, a, it's a hard question. Mm. I think it's discovering from inside such a, a big thing. Like, it's, I think it's uh, crazy to, that I could witness how it works, such a big thing. Everything that is around, all the people that are there, all the people that are working there, all the people that, uh, like all the organization, like uh, Oga Spain and all these things around your vision, how it's so important also. And this I didn't know when I was outside of it. So I think that's really cool that I was able to witness it's so many things, but all the things from inside, how it works and all this organization, that's all. I, organization sounds a bit cold, but not only organization, but uh, the energy people put in it and the passion people put in it, I mean, also. Thanks for inviting me.